Welcome everybody, this is Prodigy Games, Prodigy Rim on Xbox NA, and I'm here to bring you something special today. It's a Brawler Nightblade build, guys, who can definitely 1vx and get the kill done and survive, alright? And let me tell you how hard, this was a very hard project, okay? It's, it's not easy building a 1vx Nightblade that doesn't use stealth, alright guys? This was quite the task, but... I'm about to show you the build, everything about the build, and probably a little bit of gameplay after the build's done. All right, guys. And before I get started, I just want to say thank you for all the support you guys give me so far. It's just awesome, guys. I love you guys. All right. I will be, you know, streaming to Twitter and stuff when I uh, get more followers and uh, get a camera set up like an actual camera and an actual computer instead of using my phone. All right, guys. Um, and I can't wait to bring you more quality content. But without further ado, let's let's get into the build, guys. All right, so when I was recording, guys, I forgot to put in my buffed up stats. Okay, so here they are right here as a, uh, a screenshot. We have 30K max health, 16K max magicka, 28.5k max stam, 2400 stam recovery, 1000 magic recovery, um, 5600 weapon damage, although it gets up to 5800 with Batran, 30% weapon critical, 8600 pen, 27k resistances, okay? That's without Ancient Dragon Guard proc. 64 in his stamina. Alright, so let's get to the gear first. So, we are rocking Ancient Dragon Guard as one of our sets. Um, I don't have any enchants on it right now. I should. These uh, should both be flame. <clears throat> flame damage, because flame does a lot right now. Because everyone's vampires, right? Uh, Ancient Dragon Guard. This gives us a line of health, a line of damage, a line of critical chance. And then the five pieces adds, you know, 289 weapon and spell damage while your health's above 50%. And one below 50%, you get the... 3,300 physical and spell resistance, which is really good on this build. We need that, guys. All right. Dual wield front bar. Ancient Dragon Guard, like I said. Nern Hone Mace. Sharpened Sword. All right. Back bar is v Vatran Battle Axe. Um, theoretically, it should be a Vatran Greatsword, so you can get better heals, guys. But I only have the Battle Axe, so, you know, here we go. With the Berserker Enchant. All right. We want Defending because... Of uh, we want to have as much resistance on the back bar as possible. All right. Scroll down. We're wearing a heavy head of Sithis. This is a mythic item, guys. All right. You have to scry for it with the multi in uh, multi enchant on it. The Sithis gives us uh, three two hundred health, thousand health recovery. We don't care about and four thousand armor, but it does reduce our block mitigation to zero. All right, guys. But you're not going to be blocking on this build. All right. You don't have a sword and shield, and we're just we just don't block on this build, all right? We kite a lot, all right. The gaze of Sithis has our head. We need this. This completes the build. Chest is the next set. Heartlands Conqueror, heavy chest with a tri enchant, reinforced. Heartlands gives us damage, magicka, stamina, and increases the effectiveness of our weapon traits by one hundred percent. All right, that allows us to get the benefit on the front bar and the back bar because we're running it on the body. All right, it makes our defending more, so we have more resistances, and it makes it so our Nern Honed and our Sharpened get doubled on our dual wield and front bar. All right, yeah, so it's really powerful. Heartland Conqueror Chest, all right? Shoulders, Magma Incarnate, medium shoulders, guys, for the Magicka Recovery and Stam Recovery. We need both recoveries on this build because we do use some hefty Magicka skills on this build, so this is very well appreciated. All right, guys, what a Stamina Enchant. The Waste, Heartland Conqueror's Medium Waste, Impen, all right? The rest of these should be an Impen, okay? We have a Medium Heartland Hands, Stamina Enchant, Impen, Heavy Heartland Greaves, Impen, Stamina Enchant, Medium Heartland Boots, Impen, all right, guys? Necklace, Ancient Dragon Guard's Necklace, and we have a Reduced Prismatic Cost, okay, guys? This right here, you can... Get more damage and just put a weapon damage here, but I suggest using this, all right? Like I said, we use a lot of magic skills, and this helps with our magicka and stamina sustain, okay? Infused. 
And then the next two is Ancient Dragon Guard, Weapon Damage Infused. Alright guys? Both Weapon Damage Infused. Alright, so let's go over the food and potions and or poisons. For food guys, we rock Dubious Cameron Throne. For the stam recovery, max stam and max health. Um, you don't want to run anything else, alright? We need the stam recovery, we need the max health, and we need the max stam. If you want to buy our TAM takeaway broth, you can. It's the golden version of this food. It's pretty expensive. I suggest not buying it if you like your money. Um, this is, a, this is a cheap alternative, okay? Very, very good on this build, okay? And for potions, we do use tri-stat potions, all right? Giving us health, magicka, and stamina. We need these potions. We need all three resources at all times. Trust me, don't run anything else, okay? You will be sorry. Um, as far as the poisons, guys, we don't run any poisons on this build, I was debating that or not, but instead I run fire enchants on my weapons. Like I said, they're not here right now, but they should be uh, fire enchants. And then on the back bar, a berserker glyph. So I don't really run any poisons, all right, guys? All right, so let's do the skills now. Front bar, cam camouflage hunter, guys. This is slotted to give us our really good crit chance and if we deal critical damage from the flank we get five percent more damage done okay it's a really good skill it's a fighter's guild okay next one is dark cloak this is one of our hots our heals over time and it's also our source of um major resolve on this build because night blades don't really have a source of major resolve they have to whenever they use a shadow ability they gain major resolve all right it's right here shadow Shadow Barrier. Casting a Shadow Ability grants you major resolve for 6 seconds. And then durations increase by 25% for each heavy armor equipped, alright? That's why we have 3 heavy pieces on, okay? So we can get a decent amount of major resolve time, okay? Um, so yeah, it's a hot. Heals us for 1800 every 1 second. That equals out to like, it's, it's like 1000 in PvP, okay? Every 1 second for 8 seconds. And it also gives us minor protection for 6 seconds, reducing our damage by 5% which is really good. So, like I said, we don't use stealth on this build or a shade, teleport, whatever. We use this instead, Dark Cloak or Hot, okay? And as you can see, it costs 4,100 Magicka. It's pretty expensive. That's why we do reduce cost, okay? Ambush. This is our gap closer, guys. Uh, use this to gap close. <laughs> we also use it at the beginning of uh, some of our combos, okay? Uh... You know, it gives them minor vulnerability, so it increases their damage taken by five seconds for ten sec or by five percent for ten seconds. So it's really good, and it also gives us empower, increasing the damage of our light and heavy attacks. Okay, uh, we mainly use it as a gap closer. If you don't want to use this for whatever reason, then I suggest slotting. Um, where is it? Grim focus. All right. Some of you are probably gonna be like, "Oh my God, you're not using relentless focus." You could. Okay, you could slot this instead of ambush for more burst, um, because when you do five light or heavy attacks, you can fire an arrow to do a decent amount of damage and heal for that if you're in melee range. Um, sometimes I mess around and use this, but I like using Ambush because it's a gap closer, and it just works really well with my burst. I, I don't know. For this build, I chose Ambush, okay, guys? Feel free to change it if you want. Surprise attack is our spammable, guys, okay? Really good, powerful attack. Uh, if you hit them from the flank, it stuns them for three seconds and sets them off balance. Okay. And what I want to say about this, guys, is I know we're running Ancient Dragon Guard, but if you feel like you don't have enough penetration, I, I believe we have 8,600 penetration on this build. If you feel like we don't have enough, then please, you know, feel free to change out Ancient Dragon Guard for Stoons, Stoons Favor, craftable set. And then, you know, when you hit somebody in a uh when you hit someone with surprise attack, you'll set them off balance, and then you'll get your more penetration, okay? But we use this as our spammable. Whirling Blades is our execute, guys. Very powerful execute, and because we, we're dual wheels on the front bar, we, we, uh, we use this a lot, all right? Very powerful AoE execute. And then our ultimate is in-cap, 
very strong ultimate, probably one of the strongest ultimates in the game. All right, guys, not only does it do super damage, but after you hit them, they take 20% more damage from you for six seconds. And if you have over 120 ultimate, they get stunned. Like, dude, this, this ultimate is just so good, guys. Please use it. All right, back bar, guys. Temporal guard, Sigic order. Um, you can go back in time, uh, four seconds where your health, magic, and stamina were. Uh, we use it. We do use that a lot. I suggest not using it as a crutch, though, guys, because it is buggy right now, and you will get stuck in an endless undo loop, believe me. But for the main reason we have it slotted is the minor protection on the back bar, guys, reducing our damage taken by 5%. All right? Vigor is another one of our hots, our heals, our main heal we use. All right? Very good. Very strong. Race Against Time, guys. This is our snare removal and form of major expedition, okay? It's the Sigic Order. Um, you, you'd pop this if you want to, if you need to get some legs, or if you need to do, uh, if you're stunned or mobilized, to pop out of it, okay? Rally is our burst heal, and also our source of major brutality and minor endurance, giving us stam recovery and uh, more weapon damage. And like I said, it's also a burst heal. Uh, the longer you wait, because what you do is you hit it, and then if you hit it again while it's active, it will heal you. But if you, the longer you wait, the more strong, the more potent and strong the heal is going to be, okay? So try to wait as long as you can before you pop this again if you're counting on it as a heal. Leeching Strikes. This is another form of like heal and, and uh, sustain, guys. Um... Your light and heavy attacks will heal you for 1,600 health and restore 100 stamina for 20 seconds. And if you do a heavy attack, fully charged, it's twice the value, okay? And then when the, thing, when the ability ends, you get 4,200 stamina. It's really good for our sustain, really good for keeping us alive, all right? I suggest you use it. Um, if for some reason you don't want to use it, uh, I don't know why. Uh, I would slot, where is it, Temp or Revealing Flare for the Major Protection. Okay, um, you can mess around with it, put major protection there if you want, but I like uh, leeching strikes. And the last skill on our back bar is mirage, guys. This gives us major evasion and minor resolve for 26 seconds, which means it reduces our damage taken from area of effect attacks by 20% and gives us 3,000 armor. All right, this is another good skill that we need to utilize on this build. All right, very good. All right, got to go over the race, Mundus, and other things with you. Our race, if you haven't been able to tell, is a cat, <laughs> Khajiit. Um, gives us stamina, magic, good health recovery, uh, max stats, and our critical damage and critical healing, 12%. Decreases our detection radius and stealth, but we don't care about that because we don't go into stealth. Um, so my character is a bomber before, that's why he's uh, Khajiit. If you were making this build from scratch, I suggest picking a Nord because uh, they're really tanky and it would just fit this build a lot better, all right, guys? Or an Orc if you want a lot more damage and be faster, okay? Just don't pick Khajiit because it's not the best in slot, okay? Um, our Mundus is the Serpent for Stam Recovery. Now, let me tell you this, guys. Without being a stealth build or using Shade and always being out in the open and trying to X, you need... Stam recovery, okay? Trust me. Do not pass up on this Mundus. You need this Mundus, okay? We're also a stage 3 vampire for the damage mitigation, the undeath passive, 30% damage mitigation when you're losing health. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I also want to show you what passes to get, all right? Assassination passes, all these, all right? Shadow passives, all of them. Siphoning passes, all of them. Two-handed, we only want rally and heavy weapons, okay. Dual wield, all of them. Light armor, we only need grace, prodigy, and concentration. Wait a second, I'm sorry guys, let me check my... Oh yeah, that's right, we're not wearing any light pieces right now. Scratch that guys. You don't need any light armor passes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, medium armor, you want all of them. <clears throat> okay. 
In heavy armor, you want all of them. I need to fill these two in, alright? But you need you want all the heavy armor ones. Vampire, like I said. We want Dark Stalker and Undeath, especially Undeath, so we get the damage mitigation. Fighter's Guild, you want Slayer, because we have camo Camouflage Hunter slotted, so we want that increased weapon damage. Um, Sigic Order, Clairvoyance, Concentrated Barrier, Deliberation. You want both your Undaunted passives, okay. And all of your Assault and Support passives, and obviously Racial passives, and the most important one, your Alchemy passives, Medicinal Use, okay. This makes it so our pot lasts all the way until we're able to pop it again. Normally, if you didn't have this passive, I think there's like a 10 second window where you don't have the effects of the potion and you're waiting for the next one to pop. With this passive, there is no downtime to your potion, okay? When you pop your potion, and then you, you uh, the whole time, up until you have to, up until you can actually pop it again, you will have those effects, okay? Very good. Alright, so champion points are next, guys. Let's see the green tree. Like always, doesn't really matter. Alright, I have rationer to add uh, minutes to my food. Um, you definitely want this passive, though, break fall to reduce your fall damage. You always want that, alright, guys? So, uh, But like I said, I have rationer, steed's blessing, treasure hunter, which you don't need, but I needed to get to this, and gifted rider. Okay, you could take out... Um, Treasure Hunter and have Liquid Efficiency if you have the Champion Points, okay? So that's a, that's a good option. Blue Tree. We have Ironclad, guys, to reduce our direct damage attacks. Now remember, direct damage is upfront damage, so every attack besides uh, a dot, okay? We also rock <clears throat> Focus Mending on this build to increase our healing by 10%. The reason why is because our heals aren't that strong on our, on our Nightblade. But this makes them just strong enough to, to be viable, okay? So we want to run this. The other two are Deadly Aim for our single target attacks, because all we have is pretty much single target attacks, right? And Mastered Arms for direct damage, which is, like I said, every damage except a dot, <clears throat> okay? And as far as the passives, get everything you can, especially these ones right here, uh, Piercing, Battle Mastery, and Mighty, okay? Red Tree. Slippery helps our sustain and also when we get um, stunned or I mean yeah when, we're, when we get disabled stunned immobilized we can break free for no cost guys all right very helpful when Xing next pain's refuge very good CP the more uh, you reduce your damage taken by one percent per negative effect so five negative effects on you that's five percent damage mitigation okay very good CP. Um, and on this build, I have sustained by sustained by suffering, guys. Normally, I don't run this on builds, but for this build, I do need it because I needed uh, stamina and magic recovery. Because, like I said, we use you know a decent amount of magic skills, so you want to run this, okay? When we have a negative effect on us, we have 150 extra recovery. All right. And the last one is you guessed it, my favorite, guys, celerity, increasing your movement speed by 10%. All right. You need to be fast as these patches, okay? There's a lot of damage going around. You need to be able to get the hell out of there. Alright? As far as the passes, get as much as you can. Alright? Alright, so now we're going to go over the rotation, alright? For offense and defense, okay? Now for offense, it's... There's a couple different ways you can do it, right? You want to make sure all your buffs are up, right? Your armor, your heals. You can either gap close on them with ambush and then into a heavy attack, into a surprise, okay? Or you can ambush into an in cap, your ultimate, all right? Or you can just go next to them, proc your heavy attack, or heavy attack them like this, Surprise attack and then in cap, or you could heavy attack into an in cap into a surprise attack. Okay, so either ambush, surprise attack, in cap, ambush, in cap, surprise attack, or heavy attack, surprise attack, in cap, or heavy attack, in cap, surprise attack. All right, guys, 
Now for defense, you got to make sure all your buffs are popped, your potion, your heals, right? And if you're trying to get away, you're going to kite with Race Against Time, guys. You're going to you're gonna pop Race Against Time, make sure all your buffs are up, and you're going to run, okay? You can roll dodge when you need to, heal, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, just make sure, because we can't block on this build, guys, so you need to just get the heck out of dodge, out of all that damage, all right? You need to get out of all that. See how, see how I'm using a lot of magic skills? I told you guys to use a lot of magic on this build, all right? As well as stamina. Okay? And if you're in real trouble, then just pop your uh, undo on the back bar, your ultimate, and then you'll just get the hell out of there, all right? You also, when you're running, guys, you also can make sure if your batch trans proc, you can turn around and just blast them with it with the in cap, all right? And just wreck their day. And then spin to win. Okay? And oh yeah, that's another thing too. When you're done doing when you're doing your thing and they're low and you just spin to win. Look at that. You just spin to win on someone, right? When they're low health. So there you have it, guys. That's my build video for my Brawl Blade. Um please leave a comment, like and subscribe if you actually liked it and subscribe if you like my content and there'll be more. All right, guys. I'll be making more build videos and such. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace out.